Hello everybody, MD Polo here. Thank you for joining me. On the table today, we have a Colt Defender in 45 ACP. It's got a three inch barrel and it is a micro 1911, if you will. It has a seven round mag, seven plus one capacity, and it is an all metal gun, excuse me. It's got an aluminum frame and it is made for concealed carry. And we'll go, we'll go some, over some of the features in a second. The, the gun is unloaded, and for our YouTube manual reviewers, while they take a break from reviewing videos from kittens, that is not a real bullet, okay? It's called a snap cap, and we use it to protect the firing mechanism when practicing at home. And uh, so, just to double check, the gun is unloaded, although that was done prior to the video. While the mag is out, Seven plus one plus one capacity. These are not the Colt mags. It came with two seven round mags. The gun was purchased used. I let me give you a bit of a story behind it. Uh, and while I have this in my hand, before I tell you about the story, I ordered a couple Wilson combat mags. That's, uh, those are the ones I've had the best experience with. And also wanted to keep the factory cold mags as pristine as possible. So back to the story. I have a friend of mine that he owns a local gun shop here. And he carries things like this all the time. If it's not a 1911, if it's not in 45 ACP, uh, you might as well, help, you know, he'll flip it off and then throw it to a lake. So he's a, he's a, a true believer in the 1911s and especially this micro 1911s. And no, I'm not muzzling myself. And no, you're not gonna get shot through the camera. Just wanted to give you a good look at it. So the, he started telling me about how fantastic these are as, as carry pistols. Some of my friends started telling me that they prefer the Kimbers. Others prefer the Sig Sauer version of something like this. And one of them mentioned the, the Colt Defender. And he says that those were his favorite if I recall exactly what he said, but he also mentioned that they were very difficult to find. So one day I was walking into one of the local gun shops, just browsing, you know, cabinet surfing, and sure enough, there was this Colt Defender sitting right there. So I mentioned it was a used gun. I don't really know how many rounds were in it, but it looks in very good condition. The mags, as you saw, they look like they're brand new. Uh, yeah. So I took it home and started to do a little bit of research because I had never seen one in this green color. As it turns out, Colt, Colt calls it the forest green. And it was a special edition, a limited run that was done for Talo. Talo, Talo, excuse me, I don't know the pronunciation, but that's, that was a limited run and they only made 400 of these. So that sounds very nice. So I don't know if the store really knew what they had or if that modifies the value or increases the value of it or not. I, I don't know, but I really liked it. And what it came with is the original cold box. And because of the distance to the camera, this is probably not gonna work very well, but here you go a little bit of, so Colt Defender 45 ACP, three inch barrel, forest green frame, blued, Taylor edition, one of 400. So pretty cool. I was very happy to see that. Very happy to see that maybe I got something a little bit special. It came, if I didn't mention it already, it came with two mags, seven plus one capacity. But then I ordered the Wilson Combat ones. And again, forgive me if I'm repeating myself. Size-wise, here's a Kimber, full-size 1911. Let me give you a little bit of a sneak peek here. But I just had the Heine Straight 8 sights installed on it, but these are their new ones. That's a 24 karat gold bead here, and also a 24 karat gold bead there. They are absolutely superb. And we'll have a video coming on that pretty soon. I, I'm just, I'm in love with this with the sight picture. Anyway, full size 1911. And to give you an idea of the size comparison with the defenders, the cold defender. So grip wise, they're very similar, just a little bit. If you remove the mag, let me remove this mag so you have a better 
view. Try to line it up the best that I can right there. So you've got about that distance and I would say about an inch and a half at the front. So that gives you an idea on the size of the cold defender. Stainless slide, aluminum body, designed for carry, high undercut, aluminum trigger with three holes on it, skeletonized hammer with texture on it, high beaver tail so you can get really high up and nice on the slide, very active and tactile safety, so it works very well. It's a comfortable gun in the hand. G G10 grips with very aggressive texture and with a cold logo on it. There you go. Not much of a anything down here as far as a magwell or anything. It's just straight, but it's very well done. The fitment is very nice. You run your fingers across it. You don't feel much of anything. In the back, you see the ejector. It protrudes a little bit, but not much. Very nicely done here. You've got a three-dot sight system here with Novak sights. Come on, focus. There you go. The one thing that I saw in a video, and for the life of me, I can't remember the name of the channel, is the weak spot in this, and what causes a lot of problems to some people, is the recoil system. The recoil spring and guide rod from Colt is very flimsy, very flimsy, and that causes some problems for people when they want to disassemble to clean the gun. And it's coming mostly from here, and how thin it is, and becomes wobbly. And you see how you can move it like this? It gets stuck when you're trying to disassemble the gun or reassemble the gun because of this movement. And it gives people a lot of headaches. And also, the bushing that goes in the front of it, once you install it, it is, like you see the shape that you see here, and it leaves a, a hole in between the barrel and the guide rod. You see it right now has been filled by that piece of metal you don't see a gap anymore well that's because on that video and if i can find it i'll pin it in the comments below he suggested that you use and replace it with a kimber and the, this is the, for the ultra carry recoil sp uh, spring assembly from kimber come on focus and if you can see that's the part number right there 4465 and they have them in stock you can also find them on ebay but anyway, what this does, it has a much more robust construction. The plate is thicker. It doesn't move this way, so it stays put when you need it for disassembly. So that was, that was very nice, and I was very appreciative of that video. And so I ordered one, and I installed it, and it fits perfectly, and it, it just functions great. I just came back from the, from the range, and that's why the, the gun's a little bit dirty. But you, now you can see it fills that gap. There used to be a hole right there, and now you see that piece of metal right above my nail, and that is by with a new bushing from the Kimber. And it's so it just made the disassembly so much easier. So I'm very thankful for that gentleman that put, that put the video. And like I said, Novak 3.0 dot, three dot sights. They're not uh, night sights or anything. It's just regular 3.0 dot sights. And the, the construction is good. It is it's not going to be anything as far as you know custom gun or anything like that but for what it is i think colt did a really good job on the defender looking at the trigger you can see that it's got th skeletonized three holes with it's an aluminum trigger shoe with some texture at the front Let me catch up a little bit there you go there's no texture whatsoever around the aluminum grip i mentioned to you that it's got a really high undercut here where it allows you to get really really up on the gun with a with this curved beaver tail you got the memory pad the safety with texture in the back and overall it's fit really nicely the trigger going back to the trigger it's consistently pulling between 3.8 and 4 pounds and let's take a look at it here Normally I deal with a snap cap, but I didn't want to deal with a mag and the snap cap and all that. So you're there. You break the wall. Like I said, three and 3.84 pounds. And then for the reset, 
here right there you can see the movement but again when you're out there at the range it doesn't affect it whatsoever really nice trigger the slide like a 1911 is on rails and so while we're doing that let me show you it's got a nice bull barrel and here you can see let's see what's going to be the best angle that new guide rod and spring from Kimber and you can see the piece of metal that I was talking about right in see if that there right in, in here let the focus get over its corner overall a really nice gun I love the G10 grips I'm gonna call my friends over at lock and see if they can make or uh, something special for this color uh, safety again very positive tactile nice ledge for you to rest your hand on single-sided only the mag release it is small but it's got a nice texture and I can almost reach it without breaking my grip the only issue that I have with the controls is what I just mentioned is reaching the slide stop slide release without really breaking my my grip and, and having to assert some force that's the only issue that I have with the controls of this gun love the grips so the lightweight makes reference to the alloy frame so there you have it 45 ACP Colt Defender what do you think of it have you do you own it have you had any experience with a Colt Defender or this type of micro 1911s what do you think about it I know they also make it in uh, 9 millimeter but I wanted to go with a 45 ACP I look forward to your comments please remember that I upload videos every Friday morning and when I can also on Wednesdays I'm very active on Instagram if you know one if you want to know what's coming down the pipeline before it even gets to um, YouTube that's the best place give me a follow on Instagram if you will I'm really trying to get to 15,000 subscribers uh, this year YouTube tells me that at least 91% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel so I would really appreciate it if you enjoy what we're doing here you appreciate the firearms that I showcase if you could give me a subscribe and help me achieve the goal of 15,000 subscribers that would be very appreciated once again thank you very much for stopping by and until the next time God bless.